All right, you guys, that time again, Be Built by Brozer. It's our weekly show, and we are back at the Mecca, and we have a lot of people today. Eric, what's going on, Merlin? This is a great show. I'm very, very happy. I have on my right my client, Jason Hazard. It says Hazard. It's Hazard. Right? Hazard. It's Hazard. Yeah. I do some Hazard. I do some Hazard. <laughs> Jason Hazard. Hopefully, he's going to be a hazard to the rest of the competitors he's competing against in about four or five weeks. <laughs> nice. Uh, doing your first, uh, it's going to be, it's your first NPC physique, men's physique show, right? It is, yeah. Okay, so I've been preparing him for that for, for I don't know, like eight, nine weeks now, yeah. something like that. Nice. Getting him ready for that. And uh, one thing he was very worried about was his presentation on stage. And I'm not a physique competitor, I'm a bodybuilder, so I'm used to do bodybuilding poses. So I said to myself, who can I find? <laughs> to help him show himself the best on stage because if he walks on stage with the greatest body but he's not presenting himself right then it's all at a loss so I I went to my good friend here Stan Amal right here <laughs> IFBB Pro Men's Physique one of the best that there is and I said please can you come down to gold and help us with the presentation and he was so happy to do it so we have him here today so that's what these guys are going to be working on today is his presentation to get him spot on I guess we're in a posing room at Gold's and uh, we get a little sneak preview of Stan before we <laughs> So Stan, explain to me a little bit uh, what you've been showing Jason. You've been practicing for about half an hour in here and he uh, to tell me a little bit what you've been going through and uh, explain to him. So, well, the first step is to be able to nail each pose, like the front, back pose. And then the next step is going to be to work on a transition in between each pose. Okay. So right now we're working really on trying to nail the poses. And the, that's the first. The first basic step. ones. Yeah, the basic one. Okay. So and so far, the problem we had so it was more more like more like muscle control than anything is being able to really spread his lats, especially his left lats. So we're probably gonna see that now. So when you do a muscle contest, you always enter the stage from uh, the, the right side, okay. the left, but yeah. the right side for the the spectators. Okay. So he's gonna come from this side. Okay. And so here. What I want him to do is to push this hip forward to mm -hmm. make this thing disappear. At the same time, spread this lap, and this one is always having a hard time to Pop. spread it too. Okay, and I try to spread this lap. No, spread it. Yeah, he almost good. has it. Yeah, he almost. almost has it. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like you just, if you want, if you can, you just want to try to let go of this this part here, let it. There you go. Relax outward rather than squeezing in. Because when you flex it, it pops back in. That's the yeah. thing with lats, right? Just think yeah. about that. There the you way go. you get the lat out is to spread the scapula. Yeah. So, that's what so that's what that's 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 now, now his lat is popping. That's a lot better. Chip. Yeah. That's a lot better. So you, you, want, can't, you can't flex it because if you flex it, it goes right back in. Yeah. Pretty much, right? Exactly. There you go. He's just something he's going to have to practice. That right there is much better. Yeah. And then you want to keep pushing this forward to make this thing disappear, this part of the, the, the waist. And stay tall. He's like leaning a little backward, which is going to make him look uh, less wide than he is. So you want to really stay tall. All right, guys. So we just uh, back at the Bill Bob Roser. So I got Jason and then Stanimal right here. So how did it go with the, 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 the posing session? First one, Stanimal. Well, we, we nailed the, the pose. The first pose is good. Uh, working on, like I said, to uh, be able to spread those lats. Yeah. And, uh, but the one was able to hit the, that first uh, pose. And now we're going to work on spreading those lads, so we're going to be able to hit the back pose. And then next time we're going to see each other in the, after the Fit Expo okay. next weekend. So we're going, to be able, we're going to be able to start working on the transition in between each pose. Okay. Jason, talk to me about uh, working with Stanimal. How was that first, uh, first posing session? That was pretty incredible. You can definitely tell he knows his stuff, you know, and being able to help pinpoint just the little things, you know, the movement of the hip, the spreading of the laps, and then eventually, I mean, the down to the footwork, you know, but everything, you know, finding out the little things I need to work on, he, he was spot on, so I got a lot to work on, though. It's a lot to learn, huh? Yeah, it is. A lot. It doesn't seem like it, but it's a lot, there's a lot going into it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Stan, talk to me about the Arnold, man. It's a big show coming up for you. Oh yeah, I have two big shows coming up. <laughs> That's uh, where that means a lot to that show to you. That's where you got yeah. your pro status, yeah, and now exactly. you're going back as a pro for yeah. the first time. First time, uh, it's gonna. Be, I mean, it's gonna be huge. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be pretty open. I think there's uh, two guys from the top ten at the Olympia who are gonna be there. Wow. So it's pretty open to do something there. Hopefully, be able to break the top ten. Uh, that's my goal. Maybe top five would be better, but top top ten would be a great, great uh, accomplishment. And uh, after that, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna try the classic physique division. Oh, you are? Yeah, I'm going to do. Eric the... was just talking about that off camera. <laughs> I was just literally oh, yeah. saying, sand is good for both. Of them. He says uh, he's got such a great physique, nice and he could he could do both. And so you're gonna do yeah. that, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna start posing, uh, practicing my posing. I, we looked yesterday with Callum a few 
few of the wow. bodybuilding pose. Scoop, and, scoop uh, on Muscle Insider. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start, first. gonna start working with Will Aris, Big Will, for the, the posing. Uh, work oh, on the, the routine and everything. So the That's first awesome. Plastic Pro show in Cover City, March 12th. Uh, oh my be there. God. <laughs> so we're gonna get a lot of new footage with yeah. Animal coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. So listen, I want to say thank you for taking the time oh, to come today and, and work with an up and comer, <laughs> new guy. It's uh, it, it says a lot about you. And, uh, well, I, mean, I, I had other people do the same for me before. I was just gonna say that, you, know, you, you were paying it forward. Someone exactly. did it for you early on, and now you're, you're doing it again. And it's, I'm, uh, I'm, jumping on, I'm jumping on camera only, you know, it is my show. But, but uh, no, only because I want to thank you so much for oh, coming through this. Because I asked him to do it, he didn't have to do it, he, you know, like, and he made, he said, whenever you need me to come, just let me know, whatever weekend it is. It didn't hesitate for a second, so that is first class <laughs> good heart. right here. He's a yeah, good heart, good, good person. Heart. Yeah. And insane physique. Yeah. <laughs> thank well, thank you so much for coming today. Thank it means a lot, much. and uh, I'm sure I'm sure Jason appreciates it. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so, much, all right. Much, much thanks, man. Hi, So I have I have dibs on the next, on next footage with you, man. You let me know when we when we shoot again. Yeah. It's gonna come fast. Well, I'm probably gonna catch up at the Phoenix Expo since the finals of the Body and Lacrosse Box are gonna be like next weekend. They're gonna finally announce oh, the winner. Oh yes. We're gonna step on stage. Have my brother. There you go, there you go. Shameless plug, there you go. The awesome. name on it. <laughs> is, it is this Animal? Yeah. No, it's, it's my real name. Oh, uh, no, we don't we want Stanimal. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know Stanislaw. <laughs> All right, so, so we'll see the Phoenix Bowl? Yeah, hopefully uh, okay. with some good news coming up. <laughs> All right. Good luck, man, okay? Thank you very Thanks much. for coming in today. Thank you. All right. Okay, so what we're doing here today is we're showing one of the uh, unique, unique exercises that uh, Dave and I use. Uh, for creating some more cuts in the front delt and side delt. Uh, this is a play on a cable front raise. Uh, the first time that I showed Dave this movement, he was just like, we've got to show that on the show. We have to show that on the I'll show. I'll say that sometimes. So we've been, <laughs> he's like, write it down. So we wanted to show it for a while, but we wanted to wait till one of my clients came down here and we got my good friend here, Jason, who's getting ready hey, for Jason. his uh, first NPC men's physique show in about four weeks and he's going to demonstrate uh, this front raise which is done on an incline bench as you can see the bench is set here about 45 degrees the angle can be played with a little bit it can be brought down a little bit further or brought up just to change the motion a little bit but you're going to see the way that he does it he's keeping constant tension on the delts um, he's keeping the motion very very fluid uh, there's no jerking or pulling the weight too quickly he's going to full contraction and at the bottom he's coming down to a full stretch and he's actually going to stop for a moment on the bottom so he can reset and get ready to pull with the delts again so again he's coming to the top contract and a slow he wants to come down slowly to the bottom stops resets and comes up to the top this is a great movement for adding detail as you can see as he comes down this is going to add a lot of detail right here in that cut there. In this yeah. cut right here between the arm, the bicep, tricep, yeah. and the delt. Yeah. And even though it's primarily working the anterior deltoid, because the hands are close and you're raising towards the front of the body, you're still going to get a nice contraction here in the side yeah. as well, as you can see. And he's in very good shape here four weeks out, as you yep. can see, he's fully striated. Yep. So that's a great movement to throw into your deltoid workout. Okay, so I'm going to show you another exercise uh, that I like to do here. Now, if you have this machine in your gym or a similar one, this is basically like a hammer row. Uh, where you can use either a close grip on the bottom or an underhand grip. Now most people obviously do this sitting down with two hands at a time. And I like to play with this machine a little bit and get it more to feeling like it's a one-arm row. And I like it very, very much with an underhand grip. So as you're going to see, Jason does this movement. He's going to do it similar to how you would do a one-arm row, but standing up. So he's going to put one foot in front of the other, the other foot back. He's going to stand up straight, chest high, and he's going to pull right here into the lower area of the stomach to work the lower lats. Of course, the whole lat is going to contract. We'll con uh, concentrate on those low lat fibers and you're going to see how they contract on his back when he does the reps. Well, let's see his foot position. Yes, that's the first thing you want to look at. So he's going to be working the right arm. To work the right arm, his left foot is forward, his right foot is back, just as if you were doing a one arm row on a bench. His body fat is very low now. He's probably under 5%, but so you can really see the fibers that are working. But this is just a great way to take a machine that maybe you've used over and over again the same way and just change it up a little bit. Number one, we're doing it unilaterally, which I believe in unilateral movements. I believe that they're very, very good for firing off extra muscle fibers because you're only concentrating on one side of the body at a time. And also, we're changing it from seated to the standing position. So every little change you make like that changes the angle of push or pull on the body, affects the muscle slightly differently, and helps you break past those black plateaus. So Boom. great movement to try. All right, buddy, Jason, that's good. You guys, wait, wait till you see this on camera. <laughs> it looks pretty. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, Jason. Awesome.